If someone tells you that with scoliosis all you have to do is stretch the shortened muscles and strengthen those that are stretched, well, this person has no clue about scoliosis rehabilitation. People on the internet who claim to know how to fix scoliosis with few simple exercises are lacking expertise, authority and knowledge and you should not listen to a word they say. Rehabilitation of scoliosis requires extensive knowledge and experience. In today's episode I will not show you specific exercises for scoliosis because there are no such exercises. Every patient is different and there is no one-fits-all therapy. But instead I will present to you what are the methods of conservative scoliosis treatment, the effectiveness of which are scientifically proven. You will get to know seven major therapy schools so that you know what specialist you should be looking if you or some of your family members are struggling with scoliosis. Stay with me. To begin with, let's answer the question why it is not simply enough to stretch and shorten particular muscles. It is commonly known that uh, scoliosis is a lateral curvature of the spine and if this were indeed the only case it might be enough to stretch and shorten muscles uh, on both sides of our spine. However, the matter is much more complicated because in scoliosis, in addition to lateral curvature, there is also a rotation of the vertebrae involved. Thus, each scoliosis is three-dimensional deformity and it is the only way to approach its rehabilitation. So we cannot just think about stretching and strengthening. We also need to think about derotating each segment of our spine. In addition, uh, when the segments are rotating, then also the ribs are distorted. Moreover, scoliosis can be single arch, but can also be double arch or multi arch. And each scoliosis arch should be properly secured during exercises. And last but not least, the misalignment of the spine naturally affects the positioning of the shoulder blades and pelvis and it is also something that we should really think about during exercises. So as you can see it is not that simple. So if you or your child has scoliosis seek out a specialist who know what they are doing. Then which methods of scoliosis rehabilitation are effective? Um, as you already know me I am showing you on this channel only things that are scientifically proven so I will present to you those seven major therapy schools of non-invasive uh, scoliosis rehabilitation non-invasive means non-surgical yeah, and I will put them in chronological order uh, in which they were developed. The source for the presentation is a fantastic scientific article, the link to which can be found in the description of the video, which describes in detail all these methods. And I don't want to bore you, so I will just briefly tell you about each method. But if you want to know more, if you are really interested in this subject, please check this article. It's really awesome. So here we go. First method from Lyon, France. In this method, physiotherapeutic treatment includes three-dimensional mobilization of the spine, mobilization of the iliolumbar angle, patient education and activities of daily living, including correction of the sitting position. The Lyon method uses rotational angular breathing with the diaphragm as well as a breathing machine to increase lung capacity. The Lyon approach is not supported by scientific evidence for cases where the cob angle is less than 20 degrees. For cases where the cob angle is 20 degrees or greater, the method depends primarily on casting and bracing for its effectiveness. Second, Schrott method from Germany. The Schrott method was developed by Katharina Schrott in 1920 and continuously refined through the treatment of thousands of scoliosis cases per year. There is a center in Germany called the Asclepius Katharina Schrott Spinal Deformities Rehabilitation Center, which offers a scoliosis specific intensive inpatient rehabilitation program and certifies therapies of the Schrott's method. In the Schrott method, there are five pelvic corrections that are assumed prior to the execution of the main principles of correction. These five pelvic corrections ensure that the pelvis is best aligned with the trunk prior to the major corrections. Four of the most commonly used exercises in the Schroth method are the 50 times Petsy ball exercise, prone exercise, sail exercise and the muscle cylinder exercise. The Schroth method emphasizes teaching postural corrections throughout the day in order to change habitual default postures and improve alignment, pain and progression. 
Third method, scientific exercise approach to scoliosis from Italy. The CIS method is a scoliosis treatment method that focuses on regaining postural control and improves spinal stability through exercises involving active three-dimensional self-correction of the scoliotic posture. Active three-dimensional self-correction is accomplished first throughout patient education and increasing the patient's awareness of their deformity. It is the team approach involving the physician, the physical therapist, the orthotist and the patient's family. This approach is based on the belief that teamwork produces greater success in treating such patients than the work of a single professional, which I personally like very much. One of the principal differences between the CIS method and other methods of scoliosis treatment is that there is no single exercise that is considered better than the others. The goal of CIS treatment is postural rehabilitation through increasingly difficult exercises that challenge the patient to achieve and maintain active self-correction. During complete brace weaning, CIS teaches ergonomic elements aimed at avoiding spinal damage in adulthood. During the course of the brace treatment, it is of fundamental importance to continually preserve aerobic function and develop a positive body image. For this reason, it is recommended that patients increase participation in athletic activities, professional or recreational, even during full-time bracing. The CIS method holds that the brace should not impose any limitations on a young patient's personal and social life. It encourages an active lifestyle and promotes a positive body image. There are different types of orthosis used in the method, for example, Sibylla brace and Sforcesco brace. Fourth method, Barcelona Scoliosis Physical Therapy School from Spain. The BSPTS is based on the principle developed by Katharina Schroth. Treatment is based on education, observation, psychological support and intervention, bracing in accordance with Rigocheno principles and surgery. In this method, specific exercises are not considered as an alternative to bracing or surgery, but as a therapeutic intervention, which can be used alone or in combination with bracing or surgery according to individual indication. The BSPTS method is designed specifically for physiotherapists. The physiotherapist requires extensive training and many clinical years of experience in order to perfect the BSPTS method. The goals of the BSPTS method are to correct the scoliotic posture and improve aesthetics, stabilize the spine and arrest the curve progression, educate patients and families about the condition and treatment options, improve breathing functions, increase activity, including activities of daily living and functional mobility, improve overall self-image and self-esteem, and decrease the pain. Exercises in this method are based on the exercises of the German school of Mrs. Katharina Schroth. BSPTS principles are fully compatible with brace concepts such as the Rigocheno brace type, which is a rigid asymmetric custom brace. Fifth method, Dobomet from Poland. The Dobomet method was developed in 1979 by Polish physiotherapist and physician Professor Dobusiewicz. Since the beginning, the Dobomet approach has been used either as a sole physiotherapy method or in combination with Cheno bracing. The Dobomet approach is a biodynamic method of three-dimensional autocorrection based on the pathomechanics of idiopathic scoliosis. The basic technique of Dobomet approach is active three-dimensional correction involving mobilization of the primary curve towards curve correction with special emphasis on kyphotization of the thoracic spine and or on lordotization of the lumbar spine. This mobilization of the primary curve is performed in closed kinetic chains and developed upon a symmetrically positioned pelvis and shoulder girdle. The pelvis and shoulders are positioned first and kept stable for the duration of the exercise and during the inspiration and expiration phases of active asymmetrical breathing. This symmetrical positioning of the pelvis and the shoulder girdle is something that is unique to the Dobomet method. The Dobomet method uses phased lock respiration technique to assist in spinal correction and stabilization. During phased lock respiration, a strong local pressure is applied on the concave side during inspiration, while a subtle facilitation is applied on the convex side during expiration. During expiration, isometric contractions 
of the trunk muscles helps to stabilize the correction or hypercorrection. Additionally, activation of the internal intercostal muscles on the convex side during both inspiratory and expiratory phases of breathing allows for asymmetric breathing which results in the ribs coming closer together on the convex side and mobilization and the rotation of the spine. Cooperation is basic requirement in using the Dobomet method. Therefore, Dobomet is not recommended for small children who are unable to understand and perform the exercises. Sixth method, side shift from Great Britain. The side shift approach invented by Dr. Min Mehta is built upon the theory that a flexible curve can be stabilized with lateral movements. Excessive side movements of the trunk correct the lateral deviation of the trunk along with the coronal plane. These lateral movements promote a reduction in postural forces which aim to affect the development of the structural curve. Side shift method includes several principles from the shelf method, including active 3D autocorrection, overcorrection movements beyond the midline, side shifting of the trunk in the direction opposite to the convexity of the primary curve, and repetition of corrective movements during growth to influence the direction of spinal growth. Moreover, the patient must be old enough to understand instructions and perform the exercises independently. Two principal exercises of the side shift method include the hitch exercise and the hitch shift exercise. The side shift approach uses the same breathing mechanics as the Schroth and the Dobomet methods based on the principles of rotational angular breathing that targets breathing into the concavity of the ribs. And last but not least, functional individual therapy of scoliosis from Poland. FITS was created in 2004 by Marianna Białek and Andrzej Mango. FITS treatment is based upon the inclusion of many elements selected from a variety of other therapeutic approaches that have been adapted and modified to form a different scoliosis treatment concept. The FITS method also contains many techniques developed by the school leaders. FITS may be used as a separate system for scoliosis correction, as a supportive therapy for bracing, in preparation of children for surgery and as a post-op intervention. FITS is a complex, asymmetrical and individual method of treating patients with scoliosis. It is based on a number of physiotherapeutic techniques from which the creators of the method selected those treatment approaches that they believed were most useful and then adapted them as necessary. FITS can be used in a child of any age regardless of the cob angle and has been proven to be significantly effective in a short period of time. The FITS concept consists of three main stages of three-dimensional correction, patient examination and education, preparation for correction and free plane correction. Also, the patient is taught autocorrection in sitting, standing, walking and other daily activities. Okay, I hope you didn't fall asleep uh, and that now you are a little bit smarter regarding the scoliosis rehabilitation. Mm, so if you have scoliosis, just check which method is available in your country. And really, please go to specialists only. For example, I am not uh, working with patients with scoliosis. If someone calls me and um, tells me that uh, he or she has scoliosis, I just simply say no, because I am not qualified. I am not specialized in this area of rehabilitation. And I think it is a fair approach because uh, scoliosis is so complicated that I think that it should be taken care of by professionalists only. Uh, okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time.